What a day it has been here in the Neshoba County Fair. A really busy day here. Uh, the candidates for uh, governor, the gubernatorial candidates, they got a chance to speak, and also the attorney general candidates. And what a day it's been for those speeches. A very big crowd and a fiery crowd today, Gerald. Very fiery crowd with a lot of supporters, and that attorney general's race is hotly contested as we approach Tuesday's primary day, featuring four candidates, which include Democrat Jennifer Riley Collins and three Republican representatives, Representative Rob Mark Baker, excuse me, attorney Candy Taggart, and Treasurer Lynn they each told me how they differ from their opponents. As I have run across the state of Mississippi, every one of the opponents on the other side of the ticket distinguished themselves by saying, I'm running to be the attorney general for conservative Mississippians. I am not. I am running to be the attorney general for all Mississippians. The only candidate in this race who has a record on the issues that Mississippians care about. So for me, you don't have to speculate as to what I'm telling you I'm going to do. You can actually see what I have done. The question is, who is the person best prepared to be the state's chief law enforcement official and the state's top lawyer? And I believe I'm that person. So I'm asking the voters to elect Andy Taggart as attorney general. So for me, I am the best qualified individual to serve as the attorney general. I've been a special assistant attorney general. I've worn that badge. I put people in jail, I prosecuted, litigated, I run very complex agencies, I've been in private practice, and I've been counsel to the legislature. Raleigh Collins is running unopposed in Tuesday's primary. The three Republicans are running closely together and it's likely to go into a runoff. So there are a lot of interesting races. At six, we will take a look into that Republican primary coming Tuesday. Yeah, it was an interesting debate there with the uh, with the, uh, the candidates for the Republican race and the uh, Attorney General's race. They actually attacked each other more so than they have in the past. And so it's going to be interesting to see how that turns out on Tuesday. Yeah, they certainly did. And they're really running hard because this is a wide open seat, some say. Uh, with just one Democrat that doesn't have a lot of statewide name recognition, we could see the Attorney General's office for the first time in a very long time to be the, uh, Republican. All right, we'll see what happens. All right, that's going to take it for us right here at the Neshoba County Fair. Melanie, now back to you.